Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how to build TORM hierarchies in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you, first of all, what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm actually going to uh, use this example uh, that I have. So I have some company policies. Uh, in my uh, environment, uh, so I have a library with company policies and I have them all, you know, tagged nicely, right, with metadata, custom metadata. Um, but here's the thing, when you, you know, let's say create a choice column, right, um, essentially where you have a list of all the different choices, you specify a drop-down menu, it's pretty much kind of a single list, right? So it does not allow for hierarchy of terms. Uh, let's say on the finance, I want to be very specific. It's accounts payable and accounts receivable, uh, or HR is broken down into, I don't know, onboarding department and so on. So uh, how do we essentially break um, a label, uh, a tag into multiple, you know, uh, sub labels um, or su sub tags, if you will. Um, that's essentially what I'm going to explain to you in this uh, particular video. Now, uh, this uh, is only possible if you set up your metadata through the term store. All right. If you are going to create like a regular choice column, uh, then you just need to supply a list of tags and that's about it. Uh, only one level of tags. That's all. So for that, uh, you need to set up your metadata in the term store. Now, I have already devoted a number of videos and articles on my blog um, about the term store or managed metadata, as we call it. Uh, so if you're not familiar with this, this concept, uh, feel free you know, to check it out. Uh, but think of a term store as the global um, you know, box global database of labels that you can use across your entire organization. Uh, because it can be used, uh, you know, throughout the whole organization. This is something that's typically set up within the SharePoint Admin Center, which is where I'm going to head over at the moment. All right. Uh, and so let me uh, navigate to SharePoint uh, Admin Center. And under uh, content services, you want to click on, uh, you know, term store. Um, so there are actually a few steps involved here. So I will explain all the steps, you know, one uh, by one. Um, but, you know, the first step would be to uh, obviously define uh, your metadata within the term store. Now, I already have, I already have, um, you know, different sets of, you know, metadata. And by the way, this is what it looks like in the term store. As you can see, I have a list of global, you know, document types that pretty much I can use and reuse, you know, throughout my uh, organization on any site or document library. Uh, but here is the thing, here is the thing about this, uh, you know, managed, uh, you know, metadata, this term sets uh, or term, uh, you know, store metadata. Uh, even though you can add, you know, terms to the list, you can also add terms under the term. So you see, uh, I know it's probably not going to make a lot of sense here, but, um, you know, under agenda, I could add another term, all right, a sub-term and sub-label underneath and so on. And you can actually build hierarchy of this term. So uh, let me actually, I already have one in here. Let me go back. Uh, and uh, location. So these are all the different, let's say, office locations or whatever, right? So you see how I have the term set called, um, you know, locations, right? And then I uh, break down all the locations geographically. So the next one is North America. And then, you know, um, I created uh, another term for Canada. And under Canada, I have all the, you know, different office locations, different cities. Um, same way here, you see, um, I have essentially, this is the hierarchy. So I have the main term, then a term underneath, uh, and then, you know, a, a term underneath and so on. And I could go on and on, all right, as long as it makes sense. So uh, under Boston, I don't know if I want to break it down into different neighborhoods, let's say. Uh, I guess I could do that. Uh, but yeah, let me, you know what, let me just add another, uh, maybe um, 
uh, let's add, you know, just so that you can visualize it. So we're doing right now step number one, and we are adding essentially defining our uh, hierarchy of terms. So let me uh, just add one for Europe. All right, I am going to uh, add one uh, for uh, Europe. And then, um, you know, this is where um, I can add another term. This is where all, I guess, European uh, countries, European uh, offices, uh, you know, would be. Uh, let me just, um, you know, I guess do this one. All right. So I'll add a view, UK, and then let's add, um, you know, France. All right. Perfect. And then, of course, this is where I would define, um, you know, all the different, you know, uh, cities within the country. So, uh, I mean, let's do Paris and on the UK, we'll do London. All right. And uh, maybe we'll do Liverpool. How about that? All right. Great. All right. So, um, I, hopefully you get the idea. So um, the step number one is completed. Um, uh, this is where you define your term uh, hierarchies, and we're now ready to proceed to step number two. Step number two is where we would be adding pretty much uh, the column to a specific library and mapping it to that term set we just defined. So um, here I have um, a library of uh, some documents, and let's say I just want to tag them against the office location, for example, right? So I'm going to add a column here. And remember, we are not creating a choice column. Uh, why? Because, you know, that's just going to, to give us a list of all these different choices. We already defined our metadata. We are going to go and choose manage metadata. Manage metadata is essentially metadata defined in the term store. It's almost like a synonym, all right? So you do that. And um, yeah, let's call it uh, office location, I guess. And then this is where we need to map uh, this office location column to that term set, uh, that hierarchy of terms. And we are going to click, uh, you know, select, and we are going to choose uh, that particular term set. You see, just like that, you probably recognize this. This is what we just defined. I need to map it to this whole term set right here. And that's pretty much it. That's it for now. We will actually go back to the screen a little bit later, but that's it for now. We just defined our uh, you know, column and mapped it to our term set. So you just click Save. So the next step would be to obviously tag uh, the documents. Uh, let me do that. Um, to tag the documents, first of all, we can uh, literally just click on the document or multiple documents and uh, we can tag it uh, just like that. Let's um, go against this particular term set. And um, yeah, you get the idea, you see. I can now choose the hierarchy of terms and tag it against the particular uh, office location, just like that. Uh, but just to save some time, uh, I'm going to click Edit in Grid View. In here, uh, you know what, I'm just going to type it in. Uh, you can actually do it in bulk uh, and, uh, uh, you know, just like that. And let's uh, add, uh, I guess, a few more choices. And yeah, you know what, just like that. Perfect. So I just tagged all of these uh, choices and exit uh, grid view. All right. Uh, so um, essentially, this step is completed as well. We just tagged all the documents. The next step um, is optional, uh, but I think it's actually find it uh, quite uh, helpful. And let me explain to you what it is. Uh, so look. Um, if you notice, um, on the office location uh, column, it pretty much displays to us the label, but it only displays to us kind of the, the label you chose, which you chose, right? The, um, the actual uh, uh, term, I guess, you chose in the hierarchy of terms. 
Uh, now, in this particular case, I guess it's pretty much self-explanatory, right? I mean, uh, hopefully everyone uh, knows that uh, Paris is, you know, the capital of France and, you know, London is, is located in uh, um, uh, UK and so on. But let's just say, um, you know, you want to display the full hierarchy. So not just the, uh, you know, the term you chose, but also the parent, you know, the whole breadcrumb, if you will, right? I think it will might be more beneficial uh, when you have, let's say, a list of departments or business units and sub-departments and so on. So at least you can see where uh, this particular term resides, you know? So you want to see almost like a folder path, uh, the entire breadcrumb uh, uh, of this particular term. To do that, what you need to do is we need to go back to the um, you know, edit settings. So you can do it uh, during creation of the column, but you can also do it afterwards. And, um, you know, this is where we map the column, right? Um, and then under more options, look at this. Uh, it actually um, gives you this, um, you know, choice. By default, it displays the term, uh, but we can also display term plus parents. And when you click save, you will see what I mean. Look at this it displays the entire part of the label, all right? So um, in my opinion, I find it useful, maybe not on this particular case, hopefully everyone is familiar with geography, but um, you know, it obviously helps when you have a list of, um, you know, let's say departments and business units and, uh, and so on. Now, let me show you uh, one more thing, and this is not really part of setup, but just something to be aware of. Um, so, uh, look, I um, once again have this library, you know, essentially we tagged all of this uh, different, uh, you know, documents with uh, different uh, terms. And as you can see, I have all these different, um, you know, series of locations, I guess, uh, for the documents. And when it comes to filtering, so I'm trying to filter this uh, by office location, right? And of course I get uh, the familiar, you know, filters pane. And I can obviously, um, you know, filter it by uh, different, um, you know, choices that I have. But here's the thing. I can only filter by the labels at the moment or by the labels I tagged. Uh, what I would like to do is actually filter by uh, groupings, right? Uh, for example, I want to uh, filter by all U.S. locations uh, or all North American, uh, you know, locations. At the moment, as you can see, uh, I don't have such an ability. You can only, at least as, as of the recording of this video, uh, there is no such ability to filter by the major groupings. Uh, it obviously totally would make sense uh, to have this f feature, and I'm sure we will have eventually. But at the moment, at the moment, it does not exist. So, if I wanted, for example, to quickly, uh, you know, filter all the documents by, again, a grouping, you know, like uh, uh, in this particular case, uh, USA or North America, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Um, I think this functionality is common. I think if I if if you click see, um, you know, all. And again, I have all these different choices. When you click on the tree view, at the moment, it gives me this error message. I think, I think what Microsoft will eventually implement here is uh, essentially the capability to uh, pretty much filter by larger categories. But at the moment, at least of, as of the recording of this video, this functionality does not exist. So just wanted to point uh, this uh, out. So uh, that's all actually I have, um, um, you know, for you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new as always. Happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.